This is Andy Perroff, Boxing Social in association with Betfred. I'm glad to be joined by David Higgins here in Frisco, Texas. David, firstly, how are you? I'm good, thank you. How are you? I'm good, mate. Good. Obviously, good to hear you're doing well yourself. Your man, Joseph Parker, returns to action against Shawndale Winters on Saturday night. Just talk to me about how you guys came to the decision to face Shawndale. Well, look, um, Joseph's in a funny position where he's ranked WBO world number two, and um, he's a dangerous boxer. I mean, he could not beat anyone on his day. He's the youngest of the elite heavyweights at uh, 28 years old, so we haven't seen the best of Joseph yet. And so it's actually quite tricky to find opponents that are willing to get in the ring. Um, and Joseph has shown he'll fight anyone. You know, he's been calling out Dillian White, Usyk, Chisora, you know, he'd fight Pavek and he'd fight any of that quality or better. So it's been challenging, but Shondell has put his hand up to fight Joseph Parker. He's got a solid um, record and he's got a very heavy-handed punch. And I, I met him today. He's very confident. What should we expect from Joseph on Saturday night? Obviously, he's had to deal with that spider boy for the past year or so, just kind of getting better from that. How, how should we expect that to maybe show in his performance, if it will? At all? Well, I think he's mentally and physically in top shape. Um, Physically, he's put on a bit of weight. He's getting heavy and maturing into his body. Mentally, he's cool as a cucumber, as always. Um, so I'd just like to see him perform at his best. And we haven't seen that for a while. In the Dillian White fight, he was unlucky to get that headbutt and was concussed for a few rounds. Um, he's had two stoppage wins since then. But I think if we see Joseph perform at his best, we should win in formidable style, like Tyson Fury did, dominate probably and, and win by stoppage, ideally. We'll obviously come on to that later on, but just to stick with Joseph, you mentioned earlier in this interview the Derek Chisora fight, which you unfortunately had to pull out of. Do you see him facing maybe Derek or I know Usyk's a name which has been mentioned? Do you see maybe one of those fights later down in line? Ideally, like Joseph would step in the ring with any of them this fight, but none of them, all of them have sort of shied away from it. And so it's a matter of one of them being willing to take the fight. Then, of course, Joseph will take the fight. Like I said, if the opportunity's right, he's willing to fight anyone. So just get your thoughts as well on the headline fight here. Mikey Garcia versus Mikey Garcia versus Jesse Vargas. What are your thoughts on it, David? Ooh, I won't comment. I don't have enough expertise on either guy to give informed comment. Well, not comment on that one, but I want to get you to comment on the World of Fury 2 rematch this past weekend. What was your thoughts on Tyson's superb and stunning 7th round stoppage victory? Yeah, Tyson was awesome. Um, you know, it's one thing to talk your game plan, but then to actually deliver it, change your style. And he really did bully and throw Wilder around the ring, dropped him with a body shot. Um, it looked like a, uh, a heavyweight versus a, a, a light heavyweight. And, um, and then he sang that song and he's witty, he's a, he's the, he's a larger life character. Everybody would have, you know, most people, sorry, going into that fight, either expected Fury points or Deontay by knockout. Were you surprised just to see how ferocious Tyson was and see this different style that he was able to show against Deontay? Our, our side were hoping Tyson Fury would win the fight, and we thought it, we, but we thought it would be much closer than that. So, yes, we were um, surprised, pleasantly shocked at how dominant and formidable Tyson Fury was that day. Obviously, after the fight, you know, Deontay came out firstly saying that he, he wore a costume to a ring which weighed over 40 pounds. What did you make of that? I thought that's a ridiculous excuse to make. At first, I thought it was a joke. But upon learning that he was actually serious, um, you're just shaking your head going, you know, you've got to be, have dignity in defeat and to start sort of ranting about the cost, silly costume. Well, don't wear the silly costume if you have a problem with it. And obviously Deontay, after the fight, came out and said that he didn't agree with Mark Breland's throwing him a towel. Again, was your thoughts on that, David? Well, it's, uh, we all read and in the news, you know, when a, a boxer often is killed or seriously injured in the ring. And it can happen any time. And so the only thing, or one of the only things that can protect that is the corner. Um, knowing when their guy is um, in deep water and... And, uh, you know, you have to respect, you know, sometimes it will be a hard decision to throw a towel in. So in a way, it's a courageous decision. Um, you know, many corners will let their fighter take far too much punishment. So, you know, I think um, it's a credit to the corner man for putting safety first. I don't think Deontay was going to be making a comeback. He had no legs at all. He wasn't going to be able to hurt Tyson with, with no legs. Um, and I think it's in bad taste that they have treated him the cornerman that way and I think it's bad taste complaining about the costume he wore and I think it would also be in bad taste to enforce a third fight now the world doesn't want to see a third fight the fans of boxing around the world want to see Fury versus Joshua and Wilder um, should allow that to happen and take some step aside money
could be one of his biggest paydays just to step aside money and then Wilder could then fight the winner of, of that fight. That would, that's what the world wants to see. I just answer, answered one of my questions on Deontay, obviously, looking to exercise that third fight contract. But just say, Fury Joshua, if that was to happen at some point, how do you see that one playing out? Well, I think the Fury that fought Wilder will bully Joshua and, and win by stoppage or knock him out. I don't think Joshua's got the skills that Fury has. And I don't think he's got the heart that Fury has. I think Fury's got more heart. I mean, the way he got up in that first fight against Wilder, I was there in Los Angeles. I mean, he was out cold and he got up. And, you know, he probably won the fight on points. So Fury's got a massive heart, best, best footwork um, for a big man. And right in terms of an all-time great, in terms of the way he moves for his size, and very skillful. And also, when, he's, um, when, he brings, when he sits down on his punches, he can knock people out. So I just think Fury will be too much for Joshua and will we'll win that fight. Well, David, I will let you crack on now because I know I caught you as you was leaving. So thank you, Tom, and thanks for being to Boxing Social. Thank you very much. Have a good day.